Yo, what's up guys, it is Dan here on behalf of Custom Creations, a new channel that me and Smurfy have made. It, uh, this is a joint channel between me and Smurfy and we're going to be uploading graphics, edits and tutorials such as this one. So it would be a good idea to keep subscribed for the best tips coming. The first tutorial, uh, which I'm doing now, is a cell render and how to do a cell render. Now there are two ways of doing it, and uh, you probably don't know what they are or how to do them. Cell render is uh, like you see on this text here, and all this background, you've got all these lines um, going through the text, and then on the side of the text, well, like I've got blocks, it's like really highlighted, you can see down here, it's like really highlighted, and then on the front of the text, it's got like all lines joining together. And then on my channel you can see that I've just got highlighted blocks here but no lines on the front. Now I'm going to show you how to do that. Uh, so you have to do it in Cinema 4D. It is a render in Cinema 4D. And firstly you're going to need to make your text. And I've got some set up here. You're going to have to have fillet caps. I've got fillet caps at 1.5 each end. And then you're just going to have to fit your text. So time saving, you're going to have small text like top. The font I think is really helpful, it's Typograph Pro and Extra Bold, I use it a lot and it's a very good font. Depth at 35, or what, whatever depth you want. And then what you're going to do is you're going to copy and paste, so that's Control C and Control V, text, and then drag it out 50 centimeters or whatever spacing you want. And copy and paste it again, drag it out again, copy and paste it again drag it out again, try and get equal spaces and then copy and paste again and drag it out again and you just need to do as many blocks as you want or as least blocks as you want and it just really doesn't matter but you need to get the best effects you want and you know how to do that, not me so now you've got your text you can uh, sort out all your colours and stuff which I'm not going to do for time's sake and once you've got your text perfect, ready, ready to render, you need to come to your render setting, which is up here. So firstly what you're going to do is you're going to render um, the text normally. So I'm going to put cell render tutorial. And just render out the normal text as it would normally be. So just let this render out. And then here comes the cell render part. You need to come to effect cell render. Now what you need to do is you need to put your edge colour to white and your background colour to black. And now there's two this is where you choose if you want lines on the front of the text like this or lines just on the side of the text like this. If you want lines just on the side of the text, like I have in my background, you need to choose outline, just outline. Don't tick edges, you need to just tick outline. So if you want it like me, you don't have lines on the front of the text. Well, if you want it like Joy's background here, and you want lines on the front of the text, which like make a kind of futuristic effect, then you need to tick edges. And for the purpose, I will do edges. Once you've highlighted edges, you need to come to save. And you need to render out the text again. So have it, call it a different name. So I'm going to CR at the end, which stands for cell render. And then you render it out. And it will look like this. And basically all it will be is just black. Black lines rendering out. The U does look a bit weird there because it's a curve. It's best to use like straight text for the best effect. So now we're done in Cinema 4D and we can close off Cinema 4D and we can come to Photoshop. And this is how you really apply the effect now. You can just go to File Place and then find your image. So mine be here. So render a tutorial. You then want to click place and hit enter. 
You now want to go file, you don't want to touch anything, just go file place, find your cell render picture, fix place, click enter again. Now don't touch anything, just leave it as it is, and come up to your layers panel up here, and set the layer style to either screen, which will look like that. Uh, I'll try and get a colour on here so it's a bit easier for you to see. No, it won't work. Oh, don't worry. Screen, which looks like that. Or soft light, which makes it really dark but still uh, gives a good effect. I normally only use screen. That's what I use on this and this. And uh, normally I turn the opacity down to about 70%. And that's pretty much it guys, you can just add all the effects you want to the uh, text and really thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe to us, Custom Creations, we hope to go far with this channel. Cheers, I've been Dan and I'm out.